they haven't done an environmental set for 50 years. The Southern Chiefs organization is taking Manitoba Hydro and the provincial government to court, launching a charter challenge to give Lake Winnipeg, traditionally known as Weenie Bee Kisikagwin, the legal rights and protections of a living entity. It'll create sort of a whole new discourse around law in Canada, and that'll, that'll help, I think, with how governance for the lake is going to be structured going forward. SCO filed a statement of claim detailing how Manitoba Hydro and the province have artificially controlled water levels and outflow of the lake for decades, causing enormous and potentially irreparable harm to wetlands, wildlife and First Nations right to fish. We forgot to look back at those original instructions gifted to us from Kitchi Manitou, which is never take without giving something in return. And so we need to bring back that spiritual connection, that ceremonial perspective of how we actually lived in harmony and in balance with Lake Winnipeg. Elders and knowledge keepers are demanding change, including a full environmental review of the lake and more involvement of First Nations in future decision making. SEO claims Hydro makes $3 billion annually from the lake through controlling water levels, but it hasn't conducted a proper environmental assessment in the past 50 years. We need to create a different sort of, I think, environmental assessment process, and we need to create just the governing of the lake right now, the licensing, all of that needs to sort of be modernized. If Lake Winnipeg is granted the rights of a living entity, it would be the second time rights have been given to a waterway, the first being Magpie River in Quebec. City News reached out to the province and Manitoba Hydro. They responded, saying it's inappropriate to discuss a matter that is before the courts. In Winnipeg, Mitchell Ringo's City News.